Hey guys! So, I thought it was time to do a little bit of a check-in and show you what's been going on with the garden. As I say that, I had to pull some weeds. So, back here, we have the super fantastic. This uh, up front here, this guy that's kind of sticking up. One. That guy is an Amish tomato. I don't know what the actual breed is. My folks got it because it was like this big. It was bigger than my hand, probably times two. Now some other things that are down here that need some weeds pulled. I have some ghost peppers. This is a ghost pepper, that's a ghost pepper. Those guys are gonna be very nice. They're gonna bring me some spicy ones. I think this one's gonna survive better than this one. Minus the fact that this one is flowering. So, when we go way in the back here, that is a super sweet 100, and that will grow all the way up. This here, ugh. Ugh. this one is an early girl. So this one should be producing tomatoes in no time and growing them fast. As we move forward, we got some of my peppers. You've got the mushroom cap up front, which Ooh, this is heavily flowering if you see all these little white spots up in here. Like, especially this guy. He just started flowering. And then, behind it, now, yesterday they did have some more flowers to them, but that's because the flowers have dried up and they're creating peppers. That's the ricotas. I think that's how it's said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, what's really nice to see it's my rose bush here. Now this is what came with the house. These guys, not my favorite kind of rose, but they are going nuts. And if we go here, this is my green zebra. I really like these guys because then I can fry them up and make some, well, fried green tomatoes with these. As you can see, it is flowering. And in no time at all, it's gonna be huge. Now I have some bad news to report. This was my blueberry. Let me zoom into this guy here. It, well, I guess it's good news too, because right here at my finger, it's starting to come back to life. For the most part, you can see this brown where it partially died. And I think some of that's due to the fact that it was under the grow lights. So I'm realizing some things about the grow lights where if I'm gonna keep it there, that's where I'm gonna keep it. You see this little patch here? That's where I threw in some rhubarb. I kind of held on to it a little long. We'll see if it... Now, I did just plant them today, so I threw... You guys may have seen it. This is where I had, I had my broccoli, but it's not doing so hot. I'm thinking that next year I'm not gonna start them indoors. Let's see how they do. Now, this guy here is a Halloween variety pumpkin. It did really well. Yeah, I planted it two weeks ago and it's gonna be that big. Usually those will grow all the way around the fire pit. <sighs> now I have some sad news. Unfortunately due to some weather, this doesn't look giant purple. And this is my favorite, the Starry Night Petunia. It got hit hard. Now if you don't know much about petunias, when you see that the ends are dried up, if you just pull them and dispose of them properly, it'll help them grow better. So I think in the next few days, I'm gonna be pulling a lot of uh, dried up flowers. Now, I still can't figure out why the ones in the front yard compared to these, these are some stargazer lilies, which have some weeds in them as well. I've been doing a lot of weeding today, but these guys last year came in really nice and this year they're not doing so hot. We'll see what comes up. Now as we get over here, this guy, who's starting to grow on top of itself, is as you can see right here, these are walking onions. Now it has started to bulb and grow on top of itself. Here's a better shot of the bulbs. This compared to some of my other onions, instead of it being a seed where these would grow seeds, they grow 
higher and higher. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that little guy flying around. I got little bees. Don't worry, you can see the concept of size. They're smaller than my thumb. Don't worry, not murder hornets. So, as we move in here, you can see that little red guy. It's a strawberry. I did have some more earlier in the week, but I had one of two things eat them. Yeah, I mean you, Marvin. The other thing that ate them were insects. I do do organic. Yeah, I said doo-doo. <laughs> I do organic gardening. So, yeah, no pesticides. If they get eaten, they get eaten. But these guys have doubled in the past two years since I first planted them. So this will be the third year. Now, my artichokes coming in quite nicely. I'm hoping the, there are one, two, three plants here. Yeah, you can't really see them. They kind of blend into each other. I'm hoping they all produce. As we round up, we do have some more. These guys, I did split off. They were all clumped together when I first bought the house. But they are starting to flower. And now, mind her, this guy isn't as flat, but it's getting some heat. I do have some mint. It is going wild. And this right here is my hot and spicy oregano. It's, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some meat sauce with it, you know, a, a good red meat sauce. So it'll be nice. Huh, I don't see any leaves. Oh, this guy, unfortunately, probably not gonna make it. That is a tomato that got eaten by the bugs. Again, organic gardening. So I'm gonna give it a couple weeks, if nothing else, I'll just plant some seeds and see what happens. All right, guys. Ooh, I got the torches in place. Oh yeah. So, as you can see, I have finished getting everything in. I got a few extra tomatoes here. I got lots of peppers here. Now, up here, I've got a habanero and a jalapeno. Right back here, this is a sugar plum tomato. As you can see, there's a cage around it. This guy is a Tabasco. You see me doing the quotes, Tabasco. Being that Tabasco peppers have always been cayenne, but throughout the ages, if they've kept on growing it on the same island where they've been growing Tabasco for years, they can be considered Tabasco peppers because enough time in the same environment, growing year after year after year, means they could basically become for that region as in like certain regions again my quotes of grapes inhibit to show that is that type of wine so whether it's cabernet bordeaux which bordeaux comes from i'm probably saying it horribly wrong Bordeaux comes from the region of Bordeaux. Champagne comes from the region of Champagne, France. Now, as we move along here, I can't remember what I planted here. So, we'll just go with it. Now, way down here, I put a post next to it so I know what it, where it was. This guy and this guy are cayenne. I haven't watered, so we're gonna put some water in here shortly. Now, because I decided to film these guys, well, we'll see what happens. This whole row is the pickling zucchini, and this guy here is the butternut squash. And then, okay, I went classic Italian basil. So, that's what I got in the backyard. Let's see what's in the front. Okay, so here I put up front, notably. This is the habanero, and this is the gypsy pepper, which it already has one on it. Hopefully, it'll grow big and strong. We'll see what it does. As we move down the line, now this guy. This guy is the Super Sweet 100. I got it some competition. This is the Rapunzel. Now, what you're gonna see me do, you see this flower? I'm gonna get rid of it. The reason I got rid of the flower of that one is because the size of it. I need it to be here. 
Oh, I need it to be here before it starts flowering. It's flowering a little early, but it is, you know, they did pump it up with lots of organic material to get it to where it goes. This guy here, which came back to life, I took off its diseased leaves. This is the San Marzano tomato, which I'm going to be making sauces. Remember how I was talking about the oregano in the backyard? That's what's uh, going to make the sauce. All right, I can't wait to reveal this. Oh my God, look at these. This is the wildflower patch that my sister sent me. Now, mind her, I probably only use like a tenth of the pack of the 30,000 seeds. These guys are going nuts. Now, some of you have seen them. They, they are not doing so well. So I think this is a uh, affirmative action or affirmative measure that transplanting corn does not do well. And to uh, top it all out, the second to last, these guys are not doing so hot. Now, I'm not a perfect gardener, but the one thing that's doing the best for me are my, somebody's been eating my petunias. Okay, they've been doing pretty good otherwise. So, let's take you the last bit that I've got here. Okay, I didn't show them in the backyard, but I still gotta show off the lilies in the front yard. Unfortunately, these are not my oriental lilies. They are a type of Asiatic lily. So I've got two different kinds here and I've interlaced them. A, B, A, B, A, B, so on and so on. So there's 10 different ones there that have all survived. And as I was looking at them earlier, this, <clears throat> don't get in the way, this little guy, eh, don't think it's gonna survive. And this little guy, he got eaten too. So, growth of 10, with the possibility of eight flowering, I'm okay with this. As you guys might remember, and I've done some weeding here and <laughs> missed this guy. These are my white onions. And as you can see, this little pod here, they're getting ready to germinate. Unfortunately, this guy kind of got snapped off, so it's not germinating. All right, so this here, this is over by my mailbox, and if you can see this, they're starting to bud. These guys are lilies. I think they're called daylilies, if I'm correct. You know, if somebody knows better, let me know. These guys are ready to go. Now, the ones I'm disappointed in, these are my Colorado columbines. Can't show my safe pride today, can I? Oh, well, I'll have to find a better spot to put those. But I think I've got some uh, columbines growing way over there. All right, guys, it's been a long day. Glad you could come check out the garden tour. I did get to finish it out from last weekend. Got everything in, even put in some rhubarb. Didn't talk about it because I don't know if it's gonna come in because I uh, held on to them a little long. Sorry. So the, uh, the roots were a little dry, but they will multiply like mad over the next five years. So hopefully I can reference this and go, multiply! I'll make some cool graphic about it. So guys, have a great weekend. Well, I guess a great week because I post these on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a great week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and before I forget, I got the sprinklers running just like I want them. It, thought I'd say that before I hit the front yard. Okay. To the front yard! <laughs>